Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 16, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And yes, it looks terrible. We are down 4%, roughly 4 or 5% today. MACD has crossed the signal line. That is bearish. Stochastic is flat, and RSI is flat. We still have a lot of room to the downside, and the question is whether or not we manage to take out this candlestick here, which is at 28k, 30k uh, first, 28k, and then just a tidal wave down to 25 and then 28,000. And uh, before the fairly honest, I don't really think that it will stop there. People will start really selling this when we're getting towards uh, 20k because that's probably where most people started to invest heavily into this cryptocurrency because that broke the previous all-time highs from back into 2017. So uh, main losses will start to accumulate or those that went very long will start to accumulate around this area here. They will, they will get out of the way and that will be probably horrible for this market. But it doesn't seem like there is any real... Um, the real bullishness to this market. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are very bearish. The trend of this is very bearish. We have the crossing of all these moving averages that is also technically bearish. Every single time we trend, uh, uh, try to basically rally here, it basically breaks down. So I started to short this and, uh, and um, I'm fairly confident that this will start breaking the 30 moving, uh, moving average, the 30, 30K, sorry and head towards 20 at least in the next few few weeks. If we were to rally here, then the 20 exponential has offered a resistance, so has the 50 moving average, and we can see that we are having a crossing of the 50 and the 300 moving average at this current stage. So let's look at Ethereum. Same thing here, if Ethereum, we did rally up towards the 200 moving average and then got rejected. So these rallies are well they are really poor we we did have this move to the 50 moving average and then it just completely collapsed we are at 40 here there's still room to the downside so we could drop towards a 300 moving average before seeing any move similar to this we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 of the 200 and that is usually a very bad sign for long term for uh, this um, for this uh, cryptocurrency and that it will probably go significantly lower um we uh, yes that is probably it every single time we rally here the 50 moving average has offered a massive support so if we were to rally then around 2230 uh, 34 as probably as far as this will go before people start selling into it as well so let's look at Cardano. Cardano continues to fall. We're approaching the 200 moving average down here at 1.1. Um, there's still room to the downside. MACD is bearish. The casting is flat. And yes, it just seems like we are just continuing grinding lower to the 200 moving average. Long term here, 20 and the 50 are most likely going to cross the 200 moving average. And if Bitcoin basically falls apart, then these you know, cryptocurrency will most likely fall. That has been Historically, the way that this cryptocurrency market has been uh, behaving, that Bitcoin basically leads the way. So 200 moving average is down here at the 1.1 drop, break that, then we're dropping towards $1, and then the 300 moving average at 0 0.78. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin is also dropping here. We went uh, rallied up towards the 20 exponential, broke down, and now we open again in the red. MACD is about to cross the signal line, indicated bearish momentum. Stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. Break below $100. That is basically what's gonna probably going to make this drop to first 50, and then probably to the back towards these levels here, around uh, 44, and even lower than that, probably to $25. It is absolutely amazing that we saw this rally here. And then this is really, um, this is only back in June, June, in May, in 10th of May, where we hit the all time highs of 411. Now we're down at to 123. So, 
yes, um, absolutely catastrophic uh, for the cryptocurrency market in general. And we're also having a crossing here at the 50 moving average of the 300. And to that is another sign that momentum is shifting here and that we are most likely going to see even lower levels. So let's look at Dogecoin. So Dogecoin is approaching the 200 moving average and uh, could see a, a rally up towards the 20 exponential before going lower. Uh, if we break below the 200 moving average, then the 300 moving average is down here. We also need to break below this candlestick, and that is kind of where this will really fall apart around 0 0.1637. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is flat, and RSI is bearish as well. We are on the edge of being oversold, and that's also the reason why I basically say that we're probably going to see a rally before and going lower. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.